Hey, what's up everybody? It's Zach, aka Homes with an X, and I know it's been a while since I've uploaded something to YouTube, so welcome back, thanks for sticking around. Uh, today I'm just going to talk a little bit about my new drone project and how that's going. So let me start by saying, if you've been watching DIY Drone, the video series on my channel, then you'll know that uh, I've been prototyping this design for a while now, possibly months, and it's pretty much finished. In fact, today I am going to be doing the first ever test flight and I'm quite excited about it because I have my FPV goggles and I've never flown first person before. And by the way guys, if you're not already following me on Instagram, uh, head over there now, I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, that's where I post all my you know, behind the scenes and daily video content and upload photos every day. So if you want to see more of what I'm doing, including the 3D printing and my day-to-day -day sort of activities, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, okay? So with the drone, here it is. So it's a 210 millimeter. Uh, it's a lot smaller than my last one, which is a 250, and it should be a little bit uh, more nimble in the air, hopefully. It's also, as you can see, just two pieces, a solid uh, lower frame, and then the cover, which uh, snaps on and off with a rubber band, nice and simple. So it's only designed to fit a small battery, but I've realized the shortcomings of that and I'm going to be redesigning the upper frame and making it so that the battery actually sits on top. Okay, so for my transmitter, uh, I'm running the Tyrannus QX7. I've got the uh, Team Black Sheep uh, video transmitter in there, uh, the Fox Air antenna, Fox Air camera, and yeah, <laughs> anyway. Uh, that's probably enough talking from me. Like I said, a few more design changes to make. Every time I make a drone, I'm learning a lot about the design process and what's uh, good and what's bad. Um, but for now, that's enough talking. I'm gonna get out there and have a go at first person view drone flying. Wish me luck. Alright, what's up guys? I'm down here at Richmond School in beautiful sunny Richmond and I'm about to test fly this drone. two big mistakes. The first was not leveling my FPV camera and the second was I had the goggles in DVR mode, recording mode. Because, I, because it was my first flight I wasn't moving forwards, I just wanted to get in the air, maneuver around, I should have leveled the camera. Uh, with the goggles not in their correct mode, uh, it was very glitchy and before I knew it I was losing elevation plummeted to the ground. The drone frame is cracked in half, but all of the electronics are okay, so I can transplant those into the, the new print. I'll print a new one when I get back to Wellington. And I'm going to make a few changes to the design still. Here's a really quick analysis of uh, what's going on here with the drone. So as you saw in that little clip, it didn't last long in the air. Uh, in fact, it was, I think, 20 seconds or so. And here we deal with the drone itself. Let me just pull this out. I have to be delicate because it is in two pieces. The arms are all intact, which tells me that the design of those arms is, is great. Obviously the arm design is suited to 3D printing. There is no weakness around there at all. Uh, where it is weak is where it's cracked here at the back of the frame. So you can see that's not really ideal. Uh, I've got a few things in mind to combat that anyway. When I do make these last few alterations to the design, I'm going to have the battery sitting on top. The VTX area will probably come out the back, I think, and then this area will stick out the front somewhere. Um, it should provide a better balance, better center of gravity, and also uh, I'll, I'll add some webs and ribs and stuff in there just to strengthen it up a little bit. The next steps are printing a new frame, putting the electronics in it. I'll do another test, an actual test, where I'll actually get it in the air and I can show you guys some footage of it flying. Um, really, the, the drone is a success, but it's just my flight skills that are letting me down. 
Um, I've got a lot to learn. I've been working on the simulator on the computer, uh, figuring out how to fly these things. So once it's rebuilt, I'm going to take it out. I'm going to fly it around for 10, 15 minutes, and I'm going to put all that footage into one video. So if you guys want me to release this design for download, I can do that on Thingiverse. Just let me know in the comments. Uh, if there's enough people that actually want to download it and build it, I'll be happy to release it. Like I said, I've got a couple of design changes to make, nothing major, and then it's ready to release, uh, if people want it, that is. And that's it. Thanks for stopping by, uh, checking out the channel. Like I said earlier, I'm going to be posting a video every Monday. There'll be a lot more regular content. Uh, I think you guys are going to like what I'm doing. Uh, there'll be drones, 3D printing, all kinds of things, really exciting stuff. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment and like the video, share it with your friends, all that. Cool. That's it from me, guys. Thank you. See ya.